What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to have a uh, decent length tutorial on one of the most asked questions I get and that is how do you submit your app to the App Store? Um, a lot of people will tell me, yo, I have this problem, I have that problem, you know. I'm having trouble doing X, or the App Store tells me Y. And so, I figured I would do a quick little tutorial. Um, well, hopefully quick. We'll see how that goes. Just kind of walking through the process. This is with Xcode 4.3, and this will be my first application upload on that. And so, I've heard the upload process is a little bit different, so... It might be my first time, too. We'll see. Um, anyways, here we go. So, first thing you're going to do, wanna gonna, gonna wanna, I don't know if that's even proper, is you're going to need to go to iTunes Connect. Um, this requires you to be a registered developer. You probably already know all about it. So, go to iTunes Connect, and we're going to manage your applications. So, let's click that, if it ever loads. And we're going to do Add New App. And it gives you some app information. So, um, so I'm going to name it Resistance Calc Plus, Best Interactive Graphical Resistance Calculator. So that just is whatever name you want to choose. I try to pick something kind of descriptive, but it isn't too important. So now you pick a SKU number. This is a completely random number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, you could pick anything. Um, I kind of have a set uh, number, but it doesn't really matter so next thing bundle ID now you're gonna have to register a new bundle ID if you're making a new app uh, I wouldn't recommend using the wildcard ID so yeah click new app ID description just name of your app whatever bundle identifier this is really important this has to match the bundle identifier in your application so whatever you pick it has to match it in Xcode I'll show you what I mean so when you click your app and you go to info, right here where it says bundle identifier, this name has to match this name. Very important. Otherwise, you will not be able to upload your app. That part's done. So now let me go back to iTunes Connect. So then you pick your bundle ID. There you go. It gives you this little thing. You can't change it if your app gets approved. That's fine. You don't want to. Uh, whoops, I've already used my... SKU, so I'll just increment it by one. Availability date, um, generally you pick whenever your app, I mean, I don't know, just, it doesn't really matter. Pick the day of today. Here's your price tier. So you have free, there's a whole bunch of them. I'm actually making my 99 cents, which is tier one. Uh, discount for educational institutions, it's already 99 cents, so to hell with it, they don't need to get a discount. Version number, this part is important, so version number needs to match your version number in Xcode. And all this business, um, I'm actually going to skip because it's pretty boring and it's not too important to how to upload your app. This is all stuff that you kind of just pick. So yeah, I will be, um, I'll just skip through it. Alright, so now that that is done, done choosing all the information, we're going to want to upload the application. So it'll take you to this screen, and you're going to want to click View Details, and if you'll see here, it has Ready to Upload Binary. So you say, uh, it gives you this warning, if your application has encryption, you have to say yeah, otherwise you're going to be in big trouble if you don't. So it tells you, oh cool, you're ready to download it with the Xcode application uploader. That's pretty much all you have to do. So the next thing you need to do is go to the iOS provisioning portal. And I'm going to get an email here saying it's ready to upload. But anyway, this is a kind of important. So pick a profile name. Just name it everything else. Select an app ID. And there we go. Now it's important that you choose, yep, there it is. It's important that you choose just distribution because Otherwise, you won't be able to build your application. So, give it a minute and wait, then reload this, and then you'll see here it lists all of your development profiles, I guess you could say, and you're going to want to download it. 
And so now that I have that, I'm going to want to drag it onto Xcode. And it'll pop up a window in the organizer when it's imported. It. So there you go. That part's important. Now you can close this window. And the next thing you're going to want to do in your resistance calculator, I have the debugger screen, I guess. You're going to want to go to build settings, info. All right, so now if you look here, you have a configurations tab. You're going to want to make a new one. Duplicate the release. You're going to want to name it distribution. That's kind of important. So now, in your build settings, there are a whole bunch of overwhelming options. Seems really scary, but the most important is that under code signing, don't touch anything else at all. But find code signing, and under your distribution, where it says don't code sign, do iPhone distribution, and it'll automatically choose. So same here for the tab under distribution where it says any iOS SDK, click the same thing. That's very important. And you're going to want to click your target and make sure it says the same thing. Otherwise your app will not build. And actually I haven't built this application for distribution yet, so I have no guarantees that it's not going to have errors otherwise. There are always frustrating errors with Xcode when it's building to upload. So anyway, I think my app's ready. Seems ready to go for me. Have all my icons, everything's filled out. You should definitely read the human interface guidelines because that's important. And if your app doesn't follow any of them, it'll just get rejected automatically. So now, let me unplug this. You're going to want to have to build your application for the App Store. Where you select where you want to run it, you click iOS device, product, archive. And it's going to run, and my fingers are crossed that the dang thing does not have a little triangle next to it because I'm going to freak out if it does. All right, it does. So click the error and see what it is. And I'm including these because everyone runs into errors, and so hopefully I can help you. So it tells me my application failed co-design verification. So this is actually the most common error I've had. I'm actually going to delete this because it does not help me. And we're going to go back and double check our code signing requirements. And I'm just going to say screw it and set them all to... Oh, where are you? Why doesn't it... It changed this all up on me, so it's kind of different. I'm going to change these all to iPhone distribution, just so that I can be sure that it's running right. No? All right. Let me go back to the project. Change that, too. And if you try to run this on your uh, development device after you change these to distribution, it'll fail, but you just change them right back. So make sure they say all say iPhone distribution. We'll run it again and hope it works. And this is the most frustrating part I've honestly had. Building the application is 10 times easier than getting it to submit. All right, so it worked. Got it going. It was definitely the fact that um, it's just really finicky about which code signing identities you choose. I mean, I chose the automatic profiler and it didn't work. I had to pick manually. It's just stupid. It drives me crazy. So anyway, after it's done building, you're going to want to go to the organizer. So had that first little issue, hiccup with code signing, but then you're going to want to find it. Here's all my other apps, so you see they all have statuses. And it says, I validated it just to make sure you don't have to do that. So the next thing you're going to need to do, and this is the part that I haven't been to, just to, so I remember, this part is the part I haven't done yet with the new Xcode, so we'll see how it goes. But you click the distribute button, and it gives you these options. Most likely, you're going to want to submit it to the, to the app store. Next, here's your username and password. Um, it'll automatically select your application and your code signing identities. So that should be good. Um, now it just tells you your application is being uploaded. So this is the part where we wait and see if it actually worked. Alright, so 
If you see here, no issues were found in resistance. Resistance has passed validation and has been submitted to the App Store for further review. So, there it is. Um, it might seem daunting, especially the code signing part. If you don't know how to do the code signing, then it'll take you hours. My first application took me probably five hours to submit because it, they don't explain that you have to do a separate code signing identity just to get, you know, to be able to upload. So that's that. Um, if you have any issues or questions, leave them in the comments and I will, of course, as always, uh, answer them. Any questions? Um, let me know. Peace.